Hello, everyone. I pray you are blessed. I pray you are doing well. I pray that everything is going your way that is righteous. Let me tell you something. Years ago, I was doing so much wrong so much wrong and I thought it was entertaining but around that time I was miserable I believe I was I was unhappy um like back then i don't think i knew what happiness was like i would do things that i thought i enjoyed but in the end my overall feeling was unhappiness i am trying to tell you even though i was doing things wrong that i thought i wanted to do I was very, very unhappy. I probably can say I was somewhat depressed. <clears throat> Anyways, I found it very entertaining to hurt emotionally, hurt some women. I felt it was entertaining to me. My mind was very messed up back then, so please forgive me. Anyways, I was doing, you know, bad things back then. And I think it was back in 2007 or 6, I forget when it was. Around there, I guess. I felt... I would say, I may not be all the way correct, but I believe I felt like a cold energy in my chest, like right in my chest area around maybe here or here, around here. I felt it and I knew it was there. It did not scare me, but like I knew it was there and I knew that it was something like uh, probably I can say maybe a live source. I hope this is making sense. And I think after a while, yeah, I believe I thought it was a live source. And I also believe, I think after a while, I started to take pride in it. So <laughs> I believe that cold source, that energy I felt is a demon or demons. Like, how messed up do you have to be to take pride in an energy inside your chest area, but like take pride in it? How messed up do you have to be to take pride in a demon? Which I believe I thought I don't know if the word demon came to mind, but I truly believe it it is a demon. I truly believe it. And somehow I was so evil or so messed up in the mind to where I believe I took pride in it. How strange is that? Anyways, There came a time to where I wanted 
to change. You can believe this or not. You can say, Kevin, there is no such thing as God. There is no such thing as demons. There is only people in this world and that's it. So what we see, that is it. Now, that is very foolish to say that. Anyways, you can choose to believe this or not. Around a particular time period, I would watch, was it TBN or, which I don't watch that now, but uh, I was watching, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I was watching things about God on, on my computer back then and this may sound very strange but I could feel maybe then and maybe some other times as well but I could feel things leaving my body more than one thing sometimes it would be very quickly and I think there was more than one time to where I could feel something leaving me and it took like close to a minute or so for it to entirely leave. Like for instance, let's say something is leaving you and maybe it is so large that it takes a while for all of it to leave you. I think that is a good way to explain it. There was one or more times where I felt like it took a while for whatever that was to leave out of my body, which I believe were demons. <sighs> this is no game. You may believe in life, you can do whatever you want and there is no consequence. You may believe that this life, what is that silly motto? You only live once or something like that. You may believe that you should live for entertainment purposes mainly, do whatever you want. Who cares about the consequences? You may believe you are free to do what you will. That is not the case. If I would have known exactly what I was doing, I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I did not really know about the spiritual side fully the spiritual side of it. Maybe if I would have known, maybe I would have not done so much wrong. Because I believe I am going through some things because of what I have done back in my past. I truly regret so much about my past. I truly regret it. I regret hurting the people that I hurt in the past, I regret it. I regret my selfishness, arrogance, pride, narcissism, whatever else that was wrong. Like, and it is definitely true, you reap what you sow. I was doing so much wrong and so much bad <laughs> was happening to me too. And I thank God I am alive now. I was doing foolish things. Like I could be, by the grace of God, I am still alive. By the grace of God because I believe I could have died many times. What?
If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ now, I recommend you doing so right now. This is no game. I took life as a game back in the past and I truly regret it. I wish I would have, I believe I gave my life to God when I was very young, but I think it was like this back and forth thing. I would do it and leave and do it and leave. I wish I would have stayed steady and stayed with it from a very young age to now. Imagine how far I would be now. Imagine. But I thought I was missing out. I thought how can I say this? I wanted to do wrong because some of my peers would do wrong. And I thought I would be missing out if I did not partake of wrongdoing as well. You know, like music and stuff like that made it seem like being with more than one woman was so awesome. So I thought I would be missing out if I did not do the same. And let me tell you this, sin is a bunch of mess. I tried that more than one woman thing. It is not worth it. I tried some other wrong things and it isn't worth it. It is not. Like I told you, I felt stuff leaving my body. Imagine that. You may see me now and say, Kevin, you are so nice. You are so kind. Uh, you are this, you are that. I was not always this way. I was not. I was worse, maybe way worse than how I am now. I was extremely selfish back then. I would give some, but I was very selfish. So you are seeing not so much the end product, but you are seeing like, <laughs> can I say years of changing? Don't stray away from God. You are not missing anything by choosing to not be in sin, if I am saying that correctly. People may make you feel you are missing out by not engaging in particular types of sin. You are not. You are not, I am trying to tell you, you are not. This lifestyle is the best type of lifestyle when you choose to live for Jesus Christ. I am trying to tell you, I know, I should know because I tried, like I said, I tried messing with females. I tried getting, not tried, I did mess with females. I did get drunk. I did go to, I guess I can call them clubs, bars, whatever they may be. I tried that. I did those things. I listened to very vile music. What good is it? It did not benefit me at all. Touching on this woman, getting drunk and all that stuff there did not benefit me at all. It did not. Let me say this too. Particular things may happen to us in life and we may not understand why something happened or is happening in our lives, but probably because of that thing, 
it is helping us to get better. Maybe, maybe it is helping us to get better. Maybe it is helping us to change. So every bad thing that may happen to your life may not be bad if you understand what I am saying. That bad thing may help you to change. I hope this makes sense. May God bless you.